It was kind of scary thinking back in high school that, you know, what if I fail or what if I go to college and I end up wasting my time and not actually doing what I was passionate about doing. And so the initial part that kind of scared me was not really knowing what I wanted to do. And it didn't uh, occur to me, I guess, what I really wanted to do until about 10 years after high school. I had my first son when I was 20, and then a few years after that, I got married. And a couple years after that, we bought our first house and then had another son. And then we adopted a dog. And it wasn't until after all of that that I then decided I was ready to go to college. I had a five-year career, and after being promoted a couple times, I uh, no longer had any more growth opportunities with um, the organization. So I decided that I wanted to have better opportunities. And in order to do that, I needed to go back to college. Video games has been something that I've been able to do with my children, specifically with my oldest, and being able to connect and kind of relive some of the nostalgic memories that I had as a child. My dream is to be able to create a video game that families are able to enjoy and share and create memories together. Studying software development was my way of making that dream into a reality. I want to be able to continue sharing my story and hopefully inspire others to pursue their dreams no matter how old they are. They think I'm superwoman. <laughs> I think it's inspiring, especially to my oldest, to see that no matter what, no matter how I'm feeling, if I'm scared or feeling stressed, it doesn't matter because at the end of the day, I'm still gonna do it.